Welcome, Nashin. Hi. Hi. Okay. Uh, we were discussing about present perfect and past simple. Yes. About repeated actions and events, and mm -hmm. you said that present perfect and past simple about states you want to talk yeah. about. Yeah. So, so should we go to the next slide? Yeah. Okay. So let's go. Yes. We just said that we use uh, present perfect when we want to say that action might happen again, mm -hmm. and we use past simple when we want to say that action will not happen again. So similarly, we use past simple when we want to say that uh, that we are not in that state State no longer exists. Yes. Okay. So I knew him when we were both working in Paris. I knew him when we were both working in Paris. So that means when I say I knew him, this yeah. automatically means that I do not know him. Now. I do not know him anymore. Yes. I do not I know do him I do not know him anymore. Right. But when you use present perfect for this, yes. so we say I have known him I most known of him. my working life or something like that. So that means I knew him in the past and I still know him. Okay, so I we do that when we do okay, present so, perfect. So we'll come to I have known him later. Yeah. <coughs> but new automatically tells us that we do not know him. You also hear something like I have been knowing him. What is the difference? I have been knowing him yeah. since my childhood yes so that means we're talking about the period that started in the past okay. and that uh, is still have that that has not ended till now but what's the difference between i have known him and i have but been known knowing. is a mm, uh, you know non continuous word mm -hmm. and when we say knowing yeah. what does that mean it's, it's continuing uh, but continuing what the the known in the, itself have yeah. known in itself yes. is continuous so, so why do we need to know knowing that's what i'm asking yeah you. so that's wrong you don't need this? You don't. We don't need to this, say this. This is, this is wrong. I have been knowing him and I have known him is one and the same thing. But we say I have known him, not I have been knowing him. Okay, so so this is right English yeah. and this is wrong English. Yeah. This, this is, is grammatically non not... Grammatically not... This is non-standard. Yeah. Okay. So if you get something like I have known him and I have been knowing him, I have known him is a b better choice. Yeah. Okay. Can you go to the next slide? Sure. And Clara died at the age of 96 in 1974. So that means whenever we give a time period, mm -hmm. we always use past simple, not present, uh, present perfect. Whenever yes. you have an adverbs that talk about the time, yes. So you, we cannot say Clara has died at the age of 96. Okay, so this is this is important. Yeah. When we use time adverbs that yeah. talk about finished, finished periods period. of time, mm -hmm. we use the past simple rather than the present perfect. Right. So, uh, so in, even if it is Mary di uh, Clara died at the age of 96 yesterday. Clara died yesterday. So forget about it. Mm -hmm. Yesterday. So still it will be died. Yes. We will not use has died. Or Naturally. Yeah. But we can use Clara has died when? When we don't have a time frame. So I say, I just got a phone call that Clara and has I died. got to know that Clara has died. So, so when, when we don't know the time frame, yeah. when time frame is not known time frame is not known something like uh, Clara has just died hmm. so what we understood uh, from this is that whenever we use present perfect tense but tell me that I, I, I think I, I think there's a mistake here again mm -hmm. when you when you say Clara has just died you need you know just represent some time yeah. Does it or does it not? It means recent. So Clara just died yeah. or Clara has just died would be wrong again. Sorry? I'm saying when, when just, again mm -hmm. you, you are showing some time frame Yeah. with just. Yeah. So Clara has just died would be wrong. No. Why right? would yes. She has just woken up. We use this way. So mm -hmm. we use just with has. Mm -hmm. So whenever we use has, it means recent past. Mm -hmm. And whenever we use ed form, that means remote past. So if it is remote past, okay. you use was, and so then the you use recent past, it is has. So this is another important yeah. uh, thing, because when you when we were just mentioning that this is all about time frame. Yeah. So, but just also it shows a time frame, but yes. it shows a recent, recent time, frame. time frame. So what we are saying is that if you're looking at, so what you have two things to do now. Yeah. You have to look at time frame, and you need to look at when. Yeah, so the is it time a recent time frame, frame yes. or is it? So if it is remote, then it is was. 
or ED form? Remote time frame, then ED. Uh, so that is past simple. And was, which is, which is again yeah. past simple. Yeah. So okay. when it is recent, it is has. So when you have a recent time frame, you can use has. So we say he went out. Okay. So what does that mean? He just went. No. He went out. Hmm. So that means in the past. He I went don't out. know. It's, yeah. it's so when they say went, so this is past. Okay. So that means uh, you, 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 you simple past. Yeah, you simple. When I say he has just gone out. But that's so has, that means if yes. you go out, you yes. might see him there. Recent, recent yes. thing you use has. Yeah. Okay, so very important for all the students to know this. Great. Right. Should we go ahead? Sure.